people would be doing great so i have been seeing that most of the people in the discord group and most of the people working with ai automation and stuff like that have been looking and to go into the e-commerce niche but the thing is most of them are no code developers and it is difficult for them to just make connections to their e-commerce stores or their clients and fetch important information like order details customer information refunds information and stuff like that so what i did was i went ahead and created an integration for shopify for wordpress so now you can get all the details of your orders right into your wordpress workflows without writing a single line of code so let's just walk through it First of all, what you want to do is we want to create a new bot. So let's create a chat bot. <coughs> want to close it. This integration will be made public, but until it's not, you would have to go in over here and you would see this and install it into the bot we just created. Let's configure this integration. Okay, you see over here, it requires an auth token and the store name. So what we do now is we go to our Shopify store in the admin backend and we click on apps. We click on apps and sales settings. Now we go to click on develop apps and let's create a new app. WordPress. Let's create this application once it's created you got to configure the admin api scope so you, you would click on this button currently we are only reading orders information so you would only need read orders Select this, click on save. The next thing is to install this app. So we've got to click on API credentials and we click on install app. Click install over here. This is a token that is required by our shop integration. We just click on this button, we copy it over, we go back in here, we save this auth token. And the store name is your subdomain before the my Shopify thing. So you just copy this. It's a test source, so it's randomly named like this, and you paste it over here. We enable this integration and we save the configuration. Like this. So when it's saved, we just go on and click edit to edit the bot. Still loading over here. start from a template we click on empty say hello to your chatbot it's getting our bot ready for use okay so now what you see is in your execute section you would see a new card over here get order details let's grab this up and see how it works Okay, now when you click on this one in the right hand panel what you would see is an order id this now when we so now when we click on get order details what we see over here is an order id and store output variable option over here so now let's just grab an order id from our store let's go to orders let's open this one 1406 and let's just put one four six over here. 
let's create a new variable to store the output of our order details let's call it output now we're going to display this as well so we'll just grab the text card paste it right over there and now we can use it as workflow.output let's connect it to our main node from the start node let's try our bot out you see it fetches all the information right from our Shopify store this is a lot of information we just show to the user so now what we do is we go into the event debugger we click on get order details and in this order data you'd see we are getting 84 keys so it is 84 pieces of information that we're getting so if you want to display any one of it we can let's just display this contact email so what we do is we go back over here so it's not just output anymore we would just write order data dot contact email and let's try it out again see it so now what you get only the email address over here so let's make sure it is the right one let's go back to our store over here and over here you can see it is the correct one that we are getting so now what we can also do is we can include a number card that takes an input from the user and this would be the order id so let's just say please enter your order id let's say we do a variable called order id And now what we can do is we can pass this value right into our new integration workflow dot workflow dot order id and the output is stored in that as well so let's just retry it let's test out another order Let's go to one double oh seven. Try it again with this new ID one zero zero five. Makes a call and brings in this email address. Let's see if it is the if it is correct or not. Back into our store, go to the orders. And we see about 1005 you can see it directly from here as well the email address is correct so that's all for now this integration will be made public as soon as I get it through the WordPress team and it will be available for each and every one of you guys just integrate into your boards and just use it and more features are coming into this integration as well and other integrations as well so stay tuned let's see you in the next video